And now to a troubling new trend in theft. Some parts of the country have been hit with so-called flash mob robberies. Large groups of people storming high-end stores and stealing expensive merchandise. And tonight we have a warning from some experts. CBS Force Bobeth Yates joins us live with more on this story. Bobeth. Well, Jim, the holiday season is upon us, and officials tell us that that large group of criminals are targeting stores in large numbers. But the mob of thieves aren't just going for high-end items. They're also stealing everyday products like razors and body wash. We've seen organized shoplifting, certainly. We've seen violent shoplifting, but we've never seen the type of organized shoplifting that we've seen lately. Reed Hayes, a research scientist at the University of Florida and the Loss Prevention Research Council, says crooks are teaming up to complete flash mob robberies. Five to 50 vehicles pull up almost simultaneously. As many as 30 of the occupants jump out with sledgehammers, wire cutters, and other tools. They know exactly where they're going to go in the store, and they strip large areas of even very large support department stores of a lot of desirable goods. The Louis Vuitton store at the Oak Brook Center, Illinois, was among the most recent to fall victim. According to police, a crew of 14 criminals worked together to clean out the store, then drove away in three vehicles. Another large robbery crew hit high-end stores in a Chicago area mall. Workers there described the heist. It was really scary. It was, it's, I mean, we are kind of used to, you know, it's just a lot of kids, but not nothing in that capacity. It was, it was very scary. Back in South Florida, stores we contacted were on high alert, adding extra security measures. Some even locking their doors until guards authorize access. And Hayes says that's just the beginning. Dave Broward in Palm Beach County are some of the highest uh, theft, fraud, and violence rates in the nation. You're going to see the Miami Dade, you're going to see the, the other law enforcement agencies, FDL, even at the state level, putting out notifications. Uh, at the state level, by the way, the state attorney general has announced a task force, and this is before some of these most recent blatant attacks. Now, officials say they also want shoppers to be on high alert, keeping their wallets and handbags close by, and not leaving shopping bags visible in their cars. Bobeth Yates, CBS 4 News, tonight.